Hey everybody, welcome to the Zoom Room. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a little while here now. I've been kind of busy in my life with some other things going on. But I'm going to get back to posting some stuff in the Zoom Room here shortly and we're going to have some content on using your Zoom products and your Zoom processors here to uh, to their utmost capacity and uh, we're going to be uh, showing you some other tricks to use this equipment and to get the best sounds out of it that you particularly can. But we're also going to be covering some other stuff here on the Zoom Room and it's going to be not necessarily some Zoom processor related stuff in particular, it's going to have to do with some other gear and some other uh, stuff going on with music to do with your uh, your instruments and stuff and we're going to actually do a couple of videos on that particular thing and one of the things we're going to be doing here uh, which actually relates to your zoom processors is I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to use your equipment and how to use your zoom effects units to get better sounds out of the instruments and stuff that you're using. And one of the things we're going to be doing in an upcoming video here is I'm going to be showing you guys how to take a guitar like this RG8 which has these stock soap bar pickups in it which are uh, rated at about 15k or so. Um, they don't sound too bad stock but as we know uh, if you change the pickups into this to something that's an aftermarket pickup like a DiMarzio or a, or, or a Lundgren or something of this particular nature or, or any of these high-end pickup companies you're going to improve the sound of this guitar quite a bit but what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to take these pickups and how to EQ them in your Zoom processor so that they sound as good as this $1600 Agile 8 that I've got which has some Cepheus pickups in it which are actually copies of the Lundgren pickups and the pickups in this guitar sound really really good I considered changing them to another pickup when I got this instrument but it's really not necessarily uh, really not necessary the pickups are very heavy and very 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 good pickups in this particular guitar but of course this Ibanez RG8 doesn't sound exactly like this Agile it doesn't sound quite as good although the pickups themselves there's nothing wrong with them uh, one of the tricks you can do with this particular guitar is to simply EQ the pickups better at the source. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be messing with the EQ curve of these pickups and also the output of these pickups because they are already pretty hot but it's not so much the fact that the pickups are hot it's just certain EQ ranges on them uh, don't sound as good but you can actually take the graphic EQ in your zoom processors mess around with the output of these pickups and make them sound very close to the Cepheus pickups that are in there or to any other really good uh, aftermarket uh, passive pickups that are out there on the market and you're going to see exactly how much of a difference you can actually make when you just EQ the pickups in this guitar properly so this is going to be one of the next videos we're going to do on that as well as some other videos I'm going to have upcoming on some other things you can do with your zoom equipment and some other things you can also do with the instruments that you're using uh, to improve them if you don't necessarily have any high-end gear um, my goal when I bought this Ibanez RG8 was to actually change the pickups in it change the tuners and change some other things and actually use it for stage use because it's not a bad guitar at all but it is uh, it um, doesn't have the best sounding pickups uh, but I have found a way to actually make the pickups actually sound pretty darn good just by EQing them and uh, that doesn't require you know placing replacing the pickups in here and spending let's say four hundred dollars or whatever just to replace the pickups in this guitar and I'm going to show you that trick in uh, an upcoming episode of the Zoom Room. So I'm just going to say stay tuned for that particular episode and some other stuff coming up. And I'll catch you in the future uh, with some of this content. Have a great day, guys.